Okay, so we're gonna start, let's start upright, seated, and we'll start with a bent knee, feet flat, especially for those of you whose hamstrings are fairly tight, doing that straight leg might be too uncomfortable. We'll sit up nice and long, nice and tall, drop those shoulders down as we pull the rib cage in, so we're not dropping the shoulders and extending the back. Shoulders glide down, ribs knit in, and we're sitting up tall, up out of the sit bones. Our arms are gonna come forward and we're gonna tilt the hips back, begin to curl and roll, gliding those shoulders down, folding deep into the mid ribs, rolling all the way back if you can. If you wanna scale it and go only halfway or a quarter of the way, and then every rep incrementally increase that articulation, it might be best to warm up the spine that way. So you don't have to roll all the way back. I kind of hinge back onto my heels just a little bit so I don't feel like I'm over pointing my foot. Folding in deep at the mid ribs. Here I've got a fairly deep C curve. So I'm really drawing the abdominals in deep. I can feel that tension, that hollowing as I curl back up, maintaining that C curve, and then sitting up nice and long, nice and tall. Let's do two more. Finding that articulation, I'm gonna hinge back onto the heel a little bit just so I don't have to stress the foot or the arch of the foot too much. this with a straight leg. I'm going to go for a wider stance and begin to curl. Rolling all the way back. Arms are just over the chest. I won't flow all the way back overhead. Maintaining that rib cage or the abdominal connection to curl and roll. Instead of sitting up tall with this last one, I'm going to reach and roll forward, stretching long through the spine, reaching through the feet, gliding those shoulders back and down, keeping that neck nice and long, hinging deep into the ankle to draw the top of the foot back. So I'm getting that extra stretch through the calf and up the back of the leg. Maybe I'm going to grab the feet, try to stretch a little bit deeper and then glide those shoulders down. Feeling that weight still in my tailbone, sit bones to stretch. On that next exhale, hands release and we'll restack. Sitting up nice and long and tall. Again, chin to chest, folding in at the mid ribs. Begin to curl and roll and we'll reach through, stretching the neck long, feeling that great stretch up the back of the legs, along the spine, and slow to reset. Restacking piece by piece, keeping the rib cage knitted in as the shoulders slide down the back, and we stretch the spine long for the ceiling. One more, chin to chest, folding there at the mid ribs, along the brown line, curling and rolling forward, and reaching through. Keep sliding those shoulders down, lengthening the spine nice and long. And we'll reset. Piece by piece, restacking. Arms will come out to our T position. Palms flip to go palm up. And we twist through the mid ribs to the right, keeping the arms pulled apart wide, collarbone spreads wide. And then smooth rotation. We'll add our pulses in just a moment. Just wanna warm up that rotation 
Ensure that you're keeping that rotation along the mid ribs. The legs aren't twisting and shifting. You're keeping your balance on your hips, on your sit bones. And you're not twisting through the waist. We're keeping that rotation just below the shoulder blades. So the upper half of the body is twisting and rotating. We're going to add our pulses, rotating to the right, arms pull back, and we rotate and pulse for one, two, back to center, sitting taller, sitting longer, and we pulse for one, two. We'll do two more each side, shoulders are sliding down, spine is long, ribs and abdominals are knitted in as you stretch the legs long forward. One more each side. And arms come forward, chin to chest, forward stretch and reach through the feet, through the legs. Next exhale, we'll curl and restack. Sitting up nice and tall and long and rolling down flat to the mat. Arms come long down by your side. We'll bend the knees, place the feet flat to the mat, just in line with your sit bones. We're going to find that neutral spine, that little gap at the small of the back. Feel free to add a rolled up towel if you want to protect the lumbar spine from any flexion. Right leg is going to come to tabletop and we're going to work our single leg lowers. Hinging at the hip, we inhale, lowering the foot towards the mat and exhale to lift. Keeping good weight on that left hip, left pocket as that right leg moves. So we're not rotating overly to that right side. You could even place your hands on the pelvis from hip bones reaching towards the pubic bone to feel if you're twisted or tipped out of position. So you can find and feel that neutral hip, that neutral pelvis. One more. Foot rests back to the mat, reset, realign, left leg to tabletop, finding that weight, not only on that left hip, but really onto that right side, so there's not that overweight to the left. And inhale to lower. We'll bring both knees to tabletop, keeping a parallel leg position lined up over the sit bones. We're going to work our leg changes, alternating right to left. You could go single leg one at a time or alternate simultaneously. Two more each side. Knees to tabletop, hug the knees in, stretch through the spine, reaching the sacrum and the tailbone down for the floor as you draw those shoulders down and away. Neck stays long. Bring our feet back to the mat, knees bent, feet flat, sits bones distance apart. You could add a block between the knees to connect into the adductors and the inner thighs 
We're going to work through chest lift and chest lift with rotation. So we're going to interlace our fingers, bring our hands back behind the head, slight forward fold of the elbows in, not too open and spread so we don't arch the upper back. We want to be able to fold along the mid ribs. If we over extend the back, we open the elbows too far, you can't get that chest lift. The mid back muscles, the lats are too active to allow for that forward fold. Slide those shoulders down, ribs and abs knit in, keep the tailbone heavy and we exhale to fold and lift. Bringing that line of sight between the knees, pausing for a breath at the top and then exhale to curl back as you draw the ribs and abdominals in deeper for the reset. Last three, sliding those shoulders down a little bit more, letting your head fall back into your hands, keeping the weight towards the tailbone at the bottom of the sacrum so you're not adding any flexion to the low back. You're maintaining that little gap between the small of your back and the floor and folding just along the mid ribs. Last one, fold to lift and slow to reset. We're going to open and stretch the chest before we go into our rotations. So I'm going to pull my elbows in, round through the shoulders and the upper back, kind of collapsing into the chest as I pull my elbows in towards one another. And then they're going to open and spread wide, trying to place the back of the arms, the back of the shoulder flat against the mat, up near the rotator cuff and out towards the elbow. And then as I'm in this opening, I'm trying to draw the ribs in, flatten the back against the mat and floor a little deeper to take out that extension. And fold, pulling the elbows in, rounding through the back. And then open and stretch. Flat through the back of the arms, ribs and abs draw in, collarbone is spreading wide. And one more, fold. And open. Coming to a nice reset position, sliding the shoulders down, neck is long, letting your head fall into your hands. We fold on our next exhale to lift the head, neck, and chest. We pause for a breath at the top. And on that next exhale, we're gonna rotate onto the right shoulder blade towards the right side and rotate through the mid ribs. Exhale over to the left and inhale back to center. Keeping even weight across the pockets, rotating from side to side, tipping from side to side. Ensuring that from the mid ribs, the lower ribs down, they're staying anchored and in place. So just the chest up is twisting from side to side. We're keeping that symmetry between the ribs and the hips even from right to left. No matter the direction we're twisting, legs are still unstable. That's why it's nice to have that block between the knees give you that support and that connection to your center line. Two more each side. And curl and reset. 
all the way back to the mat. Arms are gonna come long down to your side. We're gonna work our pelvic tilt before we go into our pelvic curl. If you're staying away from that lumbar flexion, you'll just float the hips slightly up off the mat, engage the hamstrings and the abdominals. For our pelvic tilt, exhale to articulate the hips back as you draw the tailbone slightly up towards the ceiling between the knees, finding that hollow position, that flexion through the low back, and then curl along the spine, rolling through along the low back, across the sacrum towards the tailbone. Exhale to tilt and tip. Find that imprint, drawing the glutes in towards the sacrum, feeling the hamstrings engage at the back of the upper leg. And tip back towards the tailbone. So we get that movement through the hip. Upper body is still and quiet. There's no shift of the shoulders, up or down. We're just moving the spine from the lower ribs, that lower one or two ribs down here, 11, 12, down towards the tailbone. One more. Moving into our pelvic curl, you can work into a standard shoulder bridge with a neutral spine, taking out the articulation to keep the flexion out of the movement. But for our pelvic curl, I'm gonna put light pressure into my feet, into my heels, especially so I can feel the activation in the hamstring. Exhale to tilt the hips back, draw the tailbone up between the knees. Start to peel and articulate up off the mat, one segment, one vertebra at a time. Anchoring into the bottom half of the shoulder blades, pausing for a breath or two at the top, and then exhale to curl, piece by piece, all the way down the spine, tightening and maintaining that tension through the core, through the abdominals, and back towards the tailbone. Last one. Walking our feet closer together, hugging the knees together. We're gonna inhale to tip the legs to the right, lifting up that left foot. and back to center. Tip and twist over to the left and back to center. One more nice little twist from side to side. This rotation is happening through the midriffs, so we're not trying to twist through the low back. Anchoring the opposite shoulder and coming back to center. Bringing the knees up to tabletop, drawing in through the inner thigh, the ankle and the heel. We're gonna work into our spine twist supine. So moving and rotating through the mid ribs, just like we did for our chest lift with rotation. We're gonna pick the opposite hip up as we inhale to tip over to the right, anchoring that left shoulder, and exhale through to center. Inhale, tipping to the left, right shoulder blade anchors. And exhale back. As if you're rolling a ball from pocket to pocket under the hips, 
keeping the knees and the shins aligned with each other, making sure that as you rotate, I'm going left here, this top right leg doesn't drop back and I add that rotation to my low back. I need to keep the hips and the legs evenly stacked. One more each side. Drawing the rib cage in deeper the farther you twist. Soles of the feet come together, placing the feet and the legs back to the mat. Knees fall out to the side for our butterfly stretch. Arms will open out to a T position, sinking the back against the mat and the floor. Last breath. Resetting the legs. We're going to come into a tabletop position. Hands are going to come to the knees and folding in at the midribs to lift the head, neck, and chest. You could leave the chest lift out. This is going to be somewhat like single leg stretch, but we're going to add a circular movement to the leg. On my inhale, my right leg goes forward. Hands transfer to that left knee, and I come down the center with that right leg, circle out back up and around, and return to tabletop. Left leg slides forward, coming down, circle out, back up and around to the top, and return to tabletop, working these down circles. Trying to keep even weight in both hips. Nice and still through the tabletop leg, especially on that circle out to the side. Folding in deeper at the mid ribs, trying to maintain that nice high chest lift to keep the stress out of the shoulders, out of the neck. And one more each side. Knees draw to chest, stretch through the back of the neck, draw the chin down, and left ear over left shoulder, looking left. Come through to center, and look and rotate right through the neck. One more each side. back to center. Returning to our tabletop position with the legs and adding back in our chest lift, we're going to reverse our direction for our circle. Right leg is going to slide forward. It's going to circle out to the side, drop down, come up the center, and back to tabletop. Left leg slides forward, out, down, and in, up the middle, and back to tabletop. Working these up circles by the leg coming up the center line. Nice and deep fold at the mid ribs, adjust as needed.
and one more each side. Once again, drawing knees to chest, stretching through the back of the neck, dropping that chin. Left ear over left shoulder. And back through to center and twist and look right. One more each side. Keeping that rotation in the neck. And returning to center. Knees are bent, feet are flat to the mat. Finding our neutral spine, anchoring into our pockets and our shoulder blades. We'll bring our right leg up to tabletop, extend the leg up through the ceiling, and we're gonna inhale to lower the leg, pointing through the toe and the foot, and then flex at the ankle. Draw the top of the foot back, exhale to lift. Active straight leg raises, inhale to lower, long and strong through the leg. If the straight leg is pulling too much on the back, you could go back to a bent knee. Also scaling the range, working smaller movements, shorter range of motion can help to alleviate any discomfort or put too much torque on the hip and the back. Last one. Right knee bends and foot stays flat to the mat. Resetting the upper body, ensuring that you're still nice and symmetrical from ribs to hips. Left leg to tabletop, extend and straighten that left leg long. And we inhale to lower, flex at the ankle, exhale up. Last two, trying to keep the movement solely in the hip without adding any flexion or extension to the low back. Bending that knee to tabletop will bring the right leg up to meet it. Hands come to the knees once again and we're going to add the chest lift back for our double leg stretch. On our inhale, arms and legs move away from the center line. And exhale to reset, back to start. Shoulders stay up and lifted as the arms glide back overhead, keeping the core tight, ribs knit in as the arms and legs move away from your center line. Drawing knees to chest, hands to feet or back of the legs, and we'll come into our happy baby stretch, stretching through the spine, trying to anchor and stretch through the hips, through the sacrum, and then rock from hip to hip with the knees out wide towards the shoulders. Resetting, bringing the legs back to tabletop. Arms reach straight up for the ceiling, just in line with the chest. And on our exhale, arms lower, we fold at the mid ribs to lift the head, neck, and chest. And inhale to reset. Working into this hundreds prep movement, you can work just the arms and the legs, leaving the chest lift out. Finding that deep fold at the mid ribs and keeping the hips still. 
Try not to roll up and down the lower half of your spine. You want to keep and maintain that little gap. You could always add a small rolled up towel under the small of the back. And we're adding our double leg extensions. Exhale to lift and reach. Long with the legs. Last two. On this next one, we come up, we stay lifted. Chest is lifted. We start in tabletop, pulsing the arms, pumping the arm at the shoulder, allowing the arm to move freely in the joint so the shoulders aren't shrugging. We're not adding any of this up and down movement with the shoulder. It's just the arms that are pulsing. Folding deeper at the midribs. Add legs for more tension, more challenge. Last 10 pulses. Curl and roll back. Draw the legs towards the chest. We send that left leg long on the mat. Right leg draws cross body towards that left shoulder to open and stretch to the back of that right hip. and flossing the leg and the hip. I draw up towards the collarbone and release. Back to center and we'll switch. Right leg extends long, draw left knee towards the chest. Open and stretch through the front of that right thigh and then we'll cross over to that right shoulder with the left knee and that light little flossing, drawing the knee up towards the collarbone and then to release the stretch. And then one. Both knees will be bent, feet flat to the mat, with arms nice and long down by your side. We're going to float our right leg to tabletop, pushing through that left heel into our single leg bridge. We lift. Slow to lower. Ribs and abdominals knit in. Hip touches the mat lightly, and we're back up into that next bridge. Last two. And slow to reset. Right foot comes back to the mat. Shoulders glide down. Left leg up to tabletop. Finding that alignment, that tension in the core. And exhale to lift and slow to lower. Light touch of the hip to the mat and back up into your next bridge. Last two. And slow to reset. Left knee back down, foot to the mat. And we'll reset right leg to tabletop and extend that leg and foot towards the ceiling, drawing the toes back. So we're pressing through the heel, back into our single leg bridges. We press and lift. 
and slow to lower. Last two. Right knee bends, foot returns to the mat, aligning with the sit bone, resetting the shoulders, aligning them with the hips, and left leg to tabletop, extend and straighten that left leg long. Draw the top of the foot back to drive through the heel towards the ceiling, and exhale to bridge. Slow to lower. Last two. And bending that knee, placing the foot flat, we'll return once again to our butterfly stretch. Soles of the feet together, knees fall out to the side. Arms open out to our T, and our head looks left. Breathing and relaxing into that stretch. And head twists right, right ear over the shoulder. One more each side with the head and the neck, left ear over left shoulder. And back to center. and right ear over right shoulder. Resetting the head and the neck, we're gonna move into our figure four stretch, placing our right ankle over that left thigh, bringing the left leg up to tabletop, reaching through, grabbing the back of the left leg, and reaching that right knee away from the shoulder, stretching and opening through the hip, And I'm going to rock from side to side as if I was in that happy baby stretch where we rocked from hip to hip, keeping pressure with your elbow or with your hand on that right knee to push it away from the shoulder. You may get more of a stretch the more you rock towards the left. And we'll switch. Right foot down with the bent knee, left ankle across the top of the right thigh, up into tabletop as we reach through, grabbing the back of the right leg. Left elbow or hand pressing that left knee away from the shoulder. And we're going to rock from hip to hip. more rock and we'll unwind legs go straight out along the mat reaching the arms up for the ceiling for our roll up inhale chin to chest as you fold at the mid ribs lowering the arms and then exhale to curl Rolling and stacking the spine forward out over the thighs, reaching long towards the feet. Flex at the ankle, draw the toes back, try to reach for the feet. Sliding the shoulders back and down as you stretch long over the legs. And we'll come up into our 
lunge stretch. I'm going to go right knee down, left foot up and forward. Nice tall kneeling position. You can do this standing if you'd like to keep the knee off of the floor. I'm going to drive the hip forward and down. Feel free to use a wall or a chair for balance. Right arm comes up overhead and you're going to hinge to the left to take that stretch farther up the chain. And back to center, switching sides. Left knee down, right foot up and forward. And we drive the hips forward and down. Shoulders are sliding back and down. And then left arm comes up and hinges over. One more breath. And slow to unwind. All right, guys, great work today. Nice job.